What's up, everybody? I'm Ryan Cabrera, and you are watching the Underground Plug. Two days chasing me around. I go crazy when you're outside of my world. Hey, guys, it's Caroline, and this is the Underground Plug. I'm joined by Ryan Cabrera outside of Mexicali Live. I can't wait to see you perform tonight. Thank you. I'm very excited. How's the tour been going so far? That's good. It's uh, me and Jason Castro and Mike. Well, tonight's uh, Keaton S Simmons, but uh, the main like tour is me, him, and Mikey Delisa, and we're doing like uh, we're doing a fun acoustic run. It's yeah, very like yeah. intimate, and you're right there, and you kind of get to see the way like well, we, the way we wrote the songs, which is you know kind of different than the normal tour with the full band. So. Cool. Have you guys ever collaborated together? We have me and uh, me and Delisa, who's not on this show, but on the tour, we've toured together before, and we've been friends for a while. Me and Jason have been friends for a while too, but um, uh, this is our first time playing and doing this tour. This we're on like show four or five or something. That's so cool. Yep. Awesome. Looks like it's been going well. It has. It is good. Well, you're no stranger to touring, so I want to know some crazy tour stories. I well, want some hilarious the moments. The crazy tour stories I can't really share with All right. the some public. Some funny ones? Um, Embarrassing ones, maybe? Yeah, I... PG-13. I mean, we have... That's the problem. Is <laughs> they're, they're, uh, there's definitely been some interesting times. I'm sure. Um, I mean, a, a PG story is... Uh, I mean... Um, but yeah, everything I, that comes to my mind is oh, no. not something that we should probably share. Really? But um, I the hear that one, one, the, one of the weirdest things I think that, that's happened was there was uh, one city where um, this girl got like somehow snuck in the venue the night before and slept in the venue backstage underneath the table. Oh my goodness. And then when we got to the dressing room, she popped out. She was like, ah! She was like, oh. it was pretty wild for us. But we let her hang out, and she hung out for. The rest of the that night, so cool of but we're like, dude, you're so dedicated. Wow, that um, is a true. You fan. slept here, you yeah. know, through the night, snuck in, got through it just to be under the table and um, just to meet you. Yep, yeah, that's um, awesome. Well, we let her hang out, it was fun. It was a little creepy, but oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I know you're currently in the studio working on a new album. Uh -huh. Can you give fans a little insight about what they can expect with the new material? Uh, this is this is a much more upbeat, positive record. Like the last record I wrote in London, so I was very like rainy and dark and gray skies, and I was in like kind of you know just like lonely bars and right. you know which which I you know enjoy. So it was different, but for me, but this record is a lot more like summer. You want to put the top down, open your windows, and drive around and just. Hang out. It's not like a party record, like a dance kind yeah, of thing, just but a just feel good one. yeah, it's like a singer-songwriter record with you know a lot more acoustic guitars on this one. But it's all it's very upbeat and and fun, and it just makes you want to have a good time. Awesome! I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I know there's no set release date, but fans are very anxious. Can you give us a time frame? Maybe this year it'll be out. I Anything? can't guarantee that, but no? I, I will say that I only have two songs left to sing. Ooh. The music is all done, the, the songs are all done, everything's written. I just have to, like the day I get back, I go straight in the studio and um, we do three days and I do vocals on two songs and cool. it'll be done. But then we have to, we have a, a long process of promo and doing right. you know, radio tours and all that stuff before it actually comes out. So all right. it, it'll be a hot minute, but yeah. I mean, I would love for it to come out this year. We'll see. Cool, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. No, it wasn't me, but it was a dream. I feel the crown start to want to shake. What a beautiful, wonderful, perfect moment. It's so full of my heart, like a memory. It's only who is sudden me. The sun shines in everyone, everywhere.
tomorrow you're doing something very cool. You are going to be giving 10 lucky fans a tour throughout New York City, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. On a double-decker tour bus? Apparently. You're the tour guide? Uh, yes, yes. I am going to be the tour guide. That is so cool. Do you know any destinations you're going to show them? Yeah, I picked. Uh, I picked like for New York. Like I'm, I'm a huge like movie dude. Like especially, uh, I'm a big like rom com fan. Mm -hmm. So I picked uh, like some destinations from like the movie Hitch, which is one of my favorite movies. Oh, that's I picked cool. like destinations from there. You know, I know someone who has about. 50 copies of Hitch. Yep. Like every year they get it for Christmas and they have it in Spanish. I, I got it on Blu-ray, I got it on Rick really? DVD. I got, yeah. What is it about that film? It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's, so good. it's the best. <laughs> so we pick, I picked the destination from there. I picked um, like the Friends building because I'm oh, a huge Friends good. fan. I love Friends. I picked uh, like one of the scenes from like When Harry Met Sally, one of the scenes from like You've Got Mail. Like all these, all these cheesy rom-com movies, but I love them, so yeah. I picked a couple of scenes from that. That's awesome. Flat iron building, some different things. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's just a hang. It's just it, it really the whole thing was just to hang with fans. Yeah. So that's awesome. You're so close with them. Yep. And I know you also are a fan of tattoo roulette. I heard. And you. I'm have... not a fan. I just play a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I know you have a Ryan Gosling tattoo. This is true. Right? This is true. That is true. Yep, that's correct. So did you? You lost the bet, I guess. It's not a bet. <laughs> we we play willingly, but yeah. Basically, it's me and my buddy Alex. We go in and you, he picks something for me. I pick something for him, and uh -huh. we're uh, blindfolded, and then oh my we get goodness. it. And then they wrap it up, and then we do the other persons, and they wrap it up, and then we Jeez. unveil them together, and then you see what you got. How and many times have you done that? Three. I have a unicorn, a Care Bear, and Ryan Gosling. I saw the Ryan Gosling one in a magazine, Yep. and it looks pretty good. Well, it's Gosling, yeah. so of course so, it looks good. How can you look bad? It's the Goss. <laughs> What's the most meaningful tattoo that you have? I don't know. I mean, one of my favorites is obviously, you know, I love the Beatles, so you got nice. them there, like George Harrison here, John Lennon here. That's um, very cool. There's a quote here that I love. It says, we're here to laugh at the odds and live our lives so well that death will tremble to take us, which is a Charles Bukowski quote, which... Might be me. I mean, most everything on my arms is basically things that, like, if I look at, it reminds me of you know artists that I love, and it just kind of inspires me to try to be better than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, the reason why I get you know I got Michael here and um, different things that when I see it, like, there's a reason why I get it. So I, I look at it and I'm like, okay, you know what? What would you know? What would Charles think if I'm writing? Like, yeah. you know what? You think it's not good enough, so. <laughs> write a better song. You know? cool. So it's all inspiration stuff and like some artists I love like Freddie Mercury's up here and Thelonious Monk and That's great. different oh, jazz they artists. They look really cool. They are. <laughs> well I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait Very to see you perform. Cool. And everyone make sure you check him out on tour this summer because now you have just been plugged in to Ryan Cabrera. Bam. <laughs> You don't want to get the way you love me on the way down. I almost fell right through, but I held on to you.